Hey everybody, still in the dark hotel room. I was going to end the video with this and actually say it in one of my other <laughs> clips that I shot. But I'll go ahead and start the video with this because uh, I finished the blinds um, for the yard office. Pretty happy with it. Now I have to see if I can start on the step for right here. Uh, this is the side of the layout you're going to actually see. The side of the building you're going to actually see once on the layout. And of course, you'll see the ends. And of course, unfortunately, the complicated side, <laughs> this side, you're not going to see. Uh, unless I can, unless you see it in photographs or something. So I got out in Tupelo today. Uh, shot some, uh, did see one train, which I shot at the end. Also focused on a lot of like little building details and things like that uh, that I thought would be interesting uh, modeling uh, suggestions and uh, ideas. Uh, so let's just uh, go into that and I'll try to post this tonight if I get it all wrapped up. This is the uh, old Tupelo cotton mill. Pretty big facility. Uh, started in 1901. I uh, think it ran for, I don't know, 30 or 40 years. Used a lot of child labor in the early years. I found some pretty bad pictures <laughs> about it. Um, fortunately, I'm looking right into the sun. Good thing is, it's not windy today. It's being restored. As you can see, there's some nice windows in that part of the building. Uh, and they actually rent it out for like weddings and receptions and stuff like that. Um, so I'm waiting on a train. Saw it when I was coming from Blue Springs. So I know he's on his way. It'll be a eastbound Burlington Northern Santa Fe stack train. So this is an old loading dock. And this spur is cut off from the from the main line. I'm gonna sort of walk around the corner here. So part of the building is being renovated. Uh, again, it's really tough with this angle. Uh, I'll see if I can get a different angle here in a few minutes after the train goes. But what I want to do is I want to walk over and I want to show you the Gravely Lumber Company because that is a really cool old building you can see from this view that it had a, one time had an awning the entire length of the building there's a brick loading dock over there that doesn't go the entire length it's just uh, again I'll walk over there inside that fence but that would be a super cool model and then I'll drive over to this uh, team track building over here and show you that because I think that would be a good model. So I guess the theme of this video is going to be more modeling ideas. Um, so this is the farmer's market for Tupelo. That is where the depot used to be because that's where the diamond is for the Burlington Northern Santa Fe, which is the track right beside me. And the crossing right to left is the Kansas City Southern. Uh, so. so again, there's the diamond. I think Burnt Northern Santa Fe gets a lot more business than the Kansas City Southern, although there are a lot of industries here in town that Kansas City Southern serves. Um, I do sort of want to show this connection track because it is very well used. And it's not really used for interchange as much as it is the Kansas City Southern, according to their rail map, has uh, trackage rights for the Barton Northern Santa Fe to the next county west of here, which is uh, New Albany is the uh, county, and there's a short line in New Albany that takes off and goes north. It's an old uh, Illinois Central branch that's been abandoned the south part of it is now a bike trail which i've ridden my bike on uh, 
some another time when I was down here. And uh, also, the Toyota plant is between here and North or New Albany, so that maybe uh, Kansas City Southern can actually serve the Toyota plant. I'm not sure about that. So I'm just waiting here for the train. Stop the video, and then I'll drive over and show you some more of the. Uh, cotton mill and gravely lumber in that team track. Okay, so I drove over to the opposite side of the tracks from where I was at. Hopefully get a better angle with the sun. Uh, there's a Frisco caboose here. This Burlington Northern Santa Fe line was an ex-Frisco line. Um, I don't know much about the, uh, I think it was the St. Louis San Francisco Railroad. Don't really know much about it, uh, but this this was an ex Frisco line. Um, one bonus <laughs> when I was here yesterday, I'll show you here in a second. This is the cotton mill. Again, it's being renovated. There are lights in some of the windows. Not sure exactly what uh, they they're doing with it. If you look up there, there's sort of someone has put like a train. A ban a banner or something so the other part of it's being renovated as a wedding venue but uh, you know there are it is being used for some industrial purpose of some type when I was here yesterday when it was real windy this crane was not here <laughs> so it's been spotted sometime uh, I hear the train coming behind me, so I'm going to try to get somewhere where I can get a good shot of it, and then I'll get some more shots of the crane and some of the gravely lumber. Again, this is going to be more a modeling ideas video, detail uh, shots, things like that. But I will tack on uh, a view of my yard office. I got the windows in half of it last night. Okay, so here's more of the cotton mill. Um, and it goes way back around there. It's like it's a relics marketplace. It's a pretty big old building. I have to go in there tomorrow. It's supposed to be raining tomorrow, so I might go in there. If you're looking for modeling details, see where there used to be awning over that door. And that door, some uh, repair up the top. These are all things that wouldn't be that hard to add to a building. Uh, it could add a lot of character to it. I mean, just to add that where the awning used to be, it looks like with a little bit of white paint. Uh, that would be a really unusual detail to add. So I want to talk a minute about this uh, building you can see in the center of the frame and i'll walk over to the other side so it's a fairly busy street <laughs> so i'm not going to go closer to it because i'm pretty sure the area between the two tracks is railroad property and there is the office down there you can see and there is a car parked there so there's probably somebody working um, so this building is a team track uh, the track it's on doesn't look very good, but obviously they use it to put the crane on yesterday, the track beside it. Uh, I was here a couple years ago, and they were actually, there's a semi-truck backed up to one of those garage doors. There's a refrigerated boxcar, mechanical one, had the motor running, uh, parked on that siding. And a fork truck was unloading frozen french fries from the boxcar and loading them onto the semi-truck. A really easy industry to model and it's sort of a modern thing too it's uh notice it's metal siding it's got a steel frame on the inside so just a concrete slab uh, a couple garage doors there's another garage door on the other side which i think you saw in the other shot but with a ramp going up to it so it's sort of like a modern team track and it is used at least periodically Here's a little closer view of the crane Again, this was not here yesterday, because I was all around this yesterday. There's the uh, loading dock that I was telling you about. You see it's completely open on this side. It has a steel frame inside of it. 
Uh, so it would be relatively mo easy to model. Uh, be a neat little detail. Now I doubt if they would ever unload like a lumber car there, probably, <laughs> because you can't really get to the other side of the, the car. Uh, they'd probably do that farther on down where there's gravel on both sides of the car. But uh, for unloading box cars out of the weather, uh, it's pretty neat. And you can see the uh, it's more of the cotton mill in the background. I have no idea what happened to that train. I saw a double stack train. I rushed here. There's nowhere else he could have gone. So he must have taken the siding somewhere for some reason. He looked like he was going pretty good clip when I saw him and I didn't know if I'd actually beat him to the crossing. Maybe I missed him. <laughs> Maybe he cleared through before I got here. But I'll wait around a few more minutes while I'm waiting on my food. Alright, the last time I'm going to shoot uh, while I'm waiting on the train is this is the back side of the Gravely Lumber Company. Um, so I'm going to do a quick walkthrough. Um, obviously I can't get in the building. This is the loading dock. Spur right here. Now I see a black cat up there. <laughs> it's probably a stray. We'll see if he takes off when I get up there. This dock did not go the length of the building, as far as I can tell. But just the paint uh, the, on here is just really cool. Um, as far as the the signs, you know, the doors and windows, wood shingles, oak flooring, um, really was a, a cool building. I'd love to see it what it looked like when I had the, the awning, the whole length of it. Um, so, arched windows, yeah, the, the gutters, the place where the gutters came down, those are all good details to model and here's the side with the ramp the train is finally coming so I'm going to move into position and shoot it At least this train wasn't all auto racks, or all uh, double stack, I had a bunch of auto racks on the end. Here's a westbound train that I shot uh, Tuesday evening, and I'm just going to go ahead and put it on this video. Here comes uh, Burlington Northern Santa Fe westbound, about ready to cross the Diamonds in Tupelo.
show this Master Tupelo cotton mill. Pretty long train. And I bet 90% uh, of the cars had graffiti on them. <laughs> it's just the modern day railroading, I guess. And I found a souvenir if I was uh, man enough to lift it. Even then, I don't know how much it would squat down the back of my Volkswagen Jetta. So I think I'll just uh, pass on it. So I'm going to end this with some still shots of the cotton mill. Can't get the whole thing in without that pole in the middle. But if you want to do screenshots and print them out, be a great backdrop building, uh, really cool. I may, may do that. Uh, sometime myself. So everybody stay safe.